Our neighbour has just been hammering incessantly for the last hour. It's horrible. No, it is not just merely horrible. It is hammering an insidious nail into my temples, penetrating into the depths of my weary and woeful soul, sowing anguish into every artery, to the point of a boiling, desperate, sanguine burst that will destroy my previously stoic composure. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Evidently, um, an almost three hour rehearsal for my musical has left me feeling a bit dramatic. It was quite fun, because um, turns out that my role as a protean is exhausting. There's a lot of dancing and slapstick. You just non-stop, you just keep repeating it, because they are really complicated. It involves a lot of multitasking, which apparently men can't do. But what is funny is the courtesans are also doing the um, rehearsals and one of them, my friend Vibrata is a, name, a character's name, uh, is supposed to be a courtesan of the jungles of Africa. It, it was just hilarious because um, she was on the other side of the stage practicing her little dance which we haven't seen before and we were practicing our dance but we just stopped when we saw her crawling up to the main character, not crawling, more prowling and then just whacking her hair over her, his knee. Like... <laughs> and it was just... It was strange. It was... It was raunchy, but like... Considering our school, which is usually quite conservative, um, there are going to be a lot of shocked parents on the um, show night. A lot of shocked staff and... A lot of shocked students, but it'll be shocked in a good way. Um, so vibrata, not vibrator as a lot of the people are calling her at school. We just stopped, um, stared, and admired, really. It was hot. Bree. Something quite amusing that I first heard about T.Y. with Stephen Fry um, is this weird sort of thing in many of the Japanese tourists. Um, it's called Paris Syndrome. It's where, basically in Japan, they idealize Paris and their education as the center of the world of culture and you know just beauty and all the people are beautiful and it's just culturally rich, which it is. But basically the Japanese have such an idealistic view of it that when they get there, considering how in Japan, you know, everything's clean, everyone helps each other, it's pretty utopian, the shops, customers, king, everything. They go to Paris, and first of all there's a language barrier, and there's a culture difference. They go to the metros where everyone looks really grim, and then they go to the restaurants where the waiters are just rude all the time, but you just you gotta love them really. And apparently they get traumatized, so a lot of them have to go to the Japanese embassy in Paris and get repatriated because they, it's quite a common case apparently. I think it's quite hilarious because you can't expect to go to another country and you know, hope that everything's la di da. That's what you get when your country's too perfect. Actually, I did this um, piece of coursework on that film Emily that everyone seems to love. Uh, apparently, completely idealistic, almost whole nationalist um, film because they idealise Montmartre so much. I mean, like, it's just it's ridiculous. When you go to Montmartre, nothing like that. It's not all clean and quaint. It's, it's, it's bustling and bohemian and cool. Jean-Pierre Jeunet apparently wanted to make a very old, better copy of Paris without immigrants or anything. I mean, if you look at Emily, there's only one guy there who's not French. There's Lucien, the guy at the market. Apart from that, there's no other foreigners in that film. So apparently, there's a lot of people accusing the director of being a racist. Uh, which I can understand because I think Montmartre is, is just, it's not a French place at all, it's, it's full of people from all the French colonies, and it's great, um, as it is. So there's my mini rant for today, I mean, sorry I didn't come to a conclusion, so it's not really a proper rant. But, um, as you can see, I have moved the camera so it is in more conventional angle of viewing. But I shouldn't, because apparently my vlog is too conventional. Whose voice is that? I'm just talking to the camera. I'm not doing anything interesting. So I had this plan, right? I've got this plan to, um, you'll see what it is. Maybe Friday, maybe Monday. It's gonna be fun, I hope, and educational in a way, and brrr, more interesting, bottom line. Uh, I'll see how long that takes me. Just gonna show you this weird card I've got. If you look at his face,